Welcome to the Intel Cordis Prime Software Design Series Timing Analysis Online Training Part 2 SDC Collections. My name is Steve. In this course, I will go over the concept of collections for the Synopsys design constraints. Here are the recommended prerequisites for this course. An online training called Time Analyzer Introduction to Timing Analysis that can be found on the Intel FPGA YouTube channel or on the Intel FPGA Trading website. Knowledge of FPGA architecture and the design flow, and familiarity with the Intel Cordis Prime Pro software. If you haven't done so already, check out our previous courses listed here in this series of online trainings. Constraining your design tells the software tools your desired timing goals so that the fitter and timing analyzer can properly report back if your design can properly operate with the timing requirements. To constrain your design, you will need to understand the timing of the system environment such as the board delays and timing requirements of the other components connected to your FPGA. What if your SDC file is not exactly right, or some constraints are off by a little bit, or some constraints are missing? It probably does not sound like too big of a deal, but these incorrect or missing constraints can cause the fitter to make incorrect optimization choices and potentially spend too much time trying to reach timing closure in certain areas of your design where timing is more restrictive than necessary. And when the fitter works unnecessarily hard, then other areas of the design will suffer as a result. Not only will the fitter spend time on unneeded constraints, but the time analyzer will spend time processing the incorrect constraints. This course is about writing STC files for common Intel FPGA design situations. For questions about writing STC, refer to these user guides and online helps. And there is the tickle and command line help as well. I point out the tickle and command line help because they are installed with the Intel Cordis Prime. When you're in the Intel Cordis Prime user interface, and you want a quick reference for a particular command, such as what are the arguments for a certain SDC constraint, if you're in the Tickle console in Cordis or in the console in the Timing Analyzer, you will notice the question mark at the left side of the slide. Click on the question mark, and that will open the command line and Tickle API help GUI as shown. It is basically the reference guide for anything scripting. Highlighted here are the SDC and extended SDC commands. The SCC section are all the standard entered SCC commands from the SCC specification, and the extended SCC are commands that Intel has added. I will now go over writing collections for SCC constraints. What is the netlist? When the timing analyzer is launched, it needs a database or netlist of the design. The Intel Cordis Prime software creates this netlist after the fitter runs. The timing analyzer will take this netlist and create an SDC compatible netlist called a timing netlist. The SDC files can now be correlated to the design elements in the timing netlist and reports generated to see if timing has been met. The SDC specification has a list of objects that can be directly correlated to objects in the timing netlist. The definitions of those objects are listed in this slide. A cell is any device building block in the design. A pin is the input or output of a cell. A net is the connection between pins. A port is a specific kind of cell that represents entry and exit points to the design. The port category is a subset of the cell. Registers are flip-flops and the category is a subset of the cell. Keepers is the combination of ports and registers, or you could define it as timing endpoints, and is also a subset of the cell. The register and keeper objects are part of the extension that Intel has added and is not part of the standard SDC specification. A cell is any building block that makes up the design. Examples of cells include ports, registers, lookup tables, multipliers, and so forth. On the slide, Everything in yellow is a cell. The pins are the inputs and outputs to the cells. For example, D and clock are input pins and Q is an output pin to the cell in reg A. 
ports our top level I.O., which are entry and exit points to the design. In this example design, there are the input port cells labeled NA, NB, and clock, each of which have a single output pin labeled O. The design also has an output port labeled OutB, which has a single input pin labeled I. Nets are the wires that connect the pins. Here are some examples of the naming conventions. I.O. will just be named after the port name. Cells are named after the cell name from the synthesis results. Since the synthesis tool's job is to optimize logic and target the FPGA architecture, you will often see machine-generated names as part of the cell name, such as using the tilde character as shown here. Pin names have the same naming concept as the cell with the addition of a hierarchical separator followed by the pin name. Nets are named after the cell's outputs. Registers and keepers names follow the same pattern as the cell names. Knowing the definitions of the objects is helpful so that you can easily create proper constraints. Using collections facilitates creating these constraints and the objects in the netlist are grouped into collections. Using the collection type commands helps the tools narrow the search in the netlist so that it can grab the proper object. In the example shown, I'm creating a clock called sysclock and using one of the collection commands, get ports, to get the sysclock port and target the create clock command. The newly created clock and the target of the command do not have to be the same name. Once this clock is created, I can now retrieve this object using another collection command called getClocks and use it in other areas of the SDC file. Here are some more examples of collection commands for SDC. These four collection commands are probably the most popular ones to be used and probably most of the FPGA design constraints can be managed with one of these four collection commands which can cover constraining from I.O. to synchronous elements, synchronous elements to synchronous elements, and synchronous elements to output I.O. In Timing Analyzer, there is a collection search tool called the Name Finder. This tool accesses the entire timing netlist that Time Analyzer has read in. Use the Timing Analyzer View menu or the Browse button in any constraint dialog to access this tool. This tool has a list of collection commands that you can use to find objects in the timing netlist. The Filter field allows you to be as general or specific as you want. Every option that you select will further elaborate the SDC command found at the bottom of the Name Finder dialog window. To summarize, I went over the basic ideas of SDC collections. This concludes part two of a five-part series. I encourage you to check out part one if you haven't done so already, along with parts three through five of this series listed here. There are many ways to get training about Intel FPGAs. You can watch hundreds of videos on our Intel FPGA YouTube channel, register for our e-learning classes on our Intel FPJ training website, or enroll in one of our regularly scheduled instructor-led online classes. Not only do we have quality classes, but they are also free of charge. If you still have questions about our FPJ products, visit our online forums. One more thing. We are always looking for ways to improve our training. Send us an email with your feedback about the course that you attended. My name is Steve and thank you for listening to this course.